Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna show you how you can auto-tune your voice. And best of all, it's not gonna cost you anything to do it. We're just gonna use free software to auto-tune your voice. Now, what does it mean to auto-tune your voice? Well, with auto-tune, what you can do is you can correct off-key singing and you can perfectly tune your vocal track. And what I mean by that is, imagine I'm singing a song and I'm supposed to sing a C note. But, you know, me being someone who works in the tech industry and I really don't sing, I probably won't hit that C. Instead, maybe I end up at a B or somewhere in between a B and a C or heck, I might even end up at a G or somewhere way off the note that I'm supposed to be hitting. With auto-tune though, I don't have to worry because what auto-tune will do is it'll make sure I land on the exact right note. So if I'm in between that B and C, I can make sure it snaps right to a C and I basically sing perfectly. Now you have lots of artists who take advantage of auto-tune. You listen to Britney Spears, you listen to Kesha, they use auto-tune extensively. In fact, they'll go into the studio, they'll put in their best effort with full knowledge that they're not gonna be able to hit every note, but instead they're gonna run their vocals through auto-tune and auto-tune's gonna do some magic so when you listen to that song, they hit every single key as they should. Now it's not just for making sure that you correct uh, off-key singing, but what you can also do is you can add cool effects to a song. So when you, one of the first examples of that was Cher in the late 90s with her song Believe, where she used auto-tune to create this interesting robotic voice. And then of course you have the king of auto-tune, T-Pain, he even has an app uh, called T-Pain My Voice that'll auto-tune your voice and give it that nice robotic sound. You have lots of artists using it um, all over the place. Chances are many of the songs that you've listened to have used auto-tune extensively. And so if you wanna learn how to use auto-tune, it's very easy. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can take advantage of auto-tune. I'm on a Windows PC today. Uh, you could be on a Mac, you could be on a Linux machine, and you can also follow along. These applications that I'm gonna show you today work regardless of what platform you're on. All right, well, are you ready to auto-tune your voice? Why don't we jump to it and I'll show you step-by-step step how to. Okay, so here we are on my PC. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna download two different tools to be able to auto-tune your voice. And the first one is Audacity. This is a free, as it says here on the page, this is a free open source cross-platform audio software. This is a great piece of audio software. In fact, for all my YouTube videos, I use this to record my voice. So what we're gonna do is, why don't we just click on this download Audacity button down here. I am on Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Windows version, but like I said earlier, if you're on Mac or if you're on Linux, you can also get Audacity. So let's go ahead and get this. And it looks like here is the installer. So we're gonna go ahead and just click on the installer. And you wanna make sure you click on the download link and not the ad that looks like a download link. So let's go ahead and install the Windows installer. And I see this EXE downloads right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and let's install this on my machine. Okay, so for the language, let's go ahead with English. You have many different language choices. And let's jump through this welcome wizard. Sure, I'm sure that contract all looks good. And it takes about 60 megabytes. Uh, so this folder already exists. I had it before I uninstalled it to show you uh, how this works. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Audacity. The installation is finished. I'm gonna continue clicking on next and now finish and I'm just gonna launch Audacity. So we now have Audacity uh, on the computer here. Hopefully you were able to get it as well. Uh, and so I'm in Audacity, but to auto-tune our voice, what we wanna do is out of the box, Audacity can't auto-tune your voice. Although what Audacity allows you to do is they support a number of effects. And there's an effect called G-Snap, which allows you to auto-tune your voice. And that is also a free plugin for Audacity. Um, I have the uh, link right up here. Uh, you could also go in the description to get here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to click on download G-Snap. Uh, we're gonna get the 32-bit version. There's also a 64-bit version. However, that does not work with Audacity. So if you click on it, download it, and try to use it, unfortunately, it won't work. So make sure to get the 32-bit version 
right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna uh, kick off a download. It's gonna go pretty fast. And this is a zip file. Now what I'm gonna do is I've downloaded this file successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and show it in the folder and I'll show you how to install this plugin into Audacity. So here I see it in my downloads folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into it. This is a zip file and there's a DLL file. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the DLL file and then we're gonna copy it, okay? And once we copy it, we are going to put it into the Audacity plugins folder. So where is the Audacity plugins folder? So what we're gonna do is let's go to the C drive. We're gonna to go to a place called Program Files x86. We're gonna click into that and then once there, you should see all the different applications on your machine. We're gonna click into Audacity right at the top and then you'll see that there's a folder called plugins let's go ahead and click into that and these are all different plugins that come with audacity and what we're going to do now is we're going to right click we're going to paste and i've actually already had it in this folder but i'm going to go ahead and just replace the uh, file in the destination and so now this is pasted in the gsnap dll okay so now i have gsnap in the plugin folder for audacity what do i do next well, let's go to, let's go back to Audacity. And within Audacity, what I can do now is I'll click on Effect right up here, and then there's an option that says Add Remove Plugins. Let's go ahead and click on that. And if you expand this view, you'll see an option for GSnap in this list. So I see it here. I already have it enabled, uh, but for the first time that you do this, you'll have to click on GSnap and then click on Enable, and that'll turn on the plugin. So now what you can do is if I click on the, I'll click back on the effects pivot and I'll scroll down the list and there's something called G-Snap here. And so this is the plugin. But what fun is the plugin unless we have some vocals to experiment with? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sing two little sections and then we'll play around with the auto-tune on my singing. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Okay, so that's the first one. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna record T-Pain. Talk to me, I talk back. Let's talk money, I'll talk that. Okay, so I just recorded two different audio tracks. So with the Michael Jackson section, I'm gonna highlight that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Effect, and now I'm gonna go to the G-Snap plugin. Now what I wanna do is since we're just opening this plugin, before we auto-tune, I wanna walk through what exactly this plugin even does. You see all these knobs, you see a keyboard over on the left-hand side, you see different toggles here. What does this all do? Well, let's just run through quickly what you can do with this plugin. So first off, with these knobs, if you click into it, you could drag up to adjust it upwards and you could drag down like that to drop it down. If you press the control key and click on it, it'll reset it back to the default value. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just set the defaults on all these different values here. Now, the first two knobs here under detection, you have one called the minimum frequency and the maximum frequency. What that means is anything, what it'll do is it'll detect anything between these frequencies and apply the auto-tune to it. So right now I just simply have it set to the lowest and the highest. However, if you wanna make your auto-tune more efficient and you know that your voice is around, let's say 90 or 100 hertz or somewhere in that range, you could adjust it up, but I'm just gonna leave it set to the defaults. Then you also have this knob called gate, and what that does is any sound below this level of negative 50 dB will be ignored. So let's say you have a fan in the background or any other type of background noise, it'll ignore that. I typically tend to just leave that where it is. Then you also have something called speed, and what that is is it looks for the number of wave repetitions required for pitch detection. So if you have a lower value here, it adjusts more quickly. So if you're going for that T-Pain type effect, you're gonna to wanna to set this lower. If you have it too high, it won't adjust very quickly. So I tend to leave that. If you want more of a natural sound, leave it at the default, which is four, but we're gonna play around with that later with the T-Pain segment. So with threshold, what that means is it's the snapping region around each note. So let's say you're trying to sing a C, but you're a little below a C, what it'll do is it'll snap it to the C. If you're using a standard scale, 100 cents works fine. 
This is the amount. This is the amount of the correction that auto tune applies. Uh, so if you don't want to be fully auto tuned, you could do a little less. However, I want to demonstrate the full power of auto tune, and I'm going to leave that at 100%. You also have something called attack and that goes along with release. What attack is, is when it hears that you're off pitch, how quickly does it apply auto-tune? Here it's set to 150 milliseconds. Same with release, once, once it's done correcting your pitch, how quickly does it go back to the non-adjusted voice? Uh, so it's basically how quick does it apply it and how quick does it stop applying it? Now let's go back up to these little toggles here. And so snap to selected notes, that's using this keyboard here. So any of these green icons, it's snapping to these green icons. So what that means is, um, so here's my middle C. If I try to, if I sing at this note here, it'll snap it to this key here. And so what I'm doing is I'm snapping to the selected notes. And here I could click on a note and say, hey, actually I just want my voice to snap to, let's say, you know, a C and maybe a G. And so I could uncheck all these other ones. If I do snap to MIDI input, what that does is you can play a key on a MIDI device that goes to your computer. And so let's say I play a C, but I really sing a G or an E, it'll snap my voice to a C. However, I don't have a MIDI device hooked up, so we're just going to stick with this snap to selected notes. Now with the Michael Jackson example, I have the Michael Jackson portion, the man in the mirror highlighted here. And what I can do is I could select a scale for this. And so it turns out that man in the mirror, I'm gonna open this up here in Wikipedia, but it turns out that the song is played in G major, the vocal range is here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the key that I want it to be in. I'm gonna set it to G and then I'm gonna set it to major. What you can do is for any other songs that you're attempting to sing, you could look up on Wikipedia or on Google and Bing, and you could, fing out, uh, you could figure out what key and what scale the song is in. Um, I'm just gonna go with G major for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And by selecting the key and the, and the scale, what that does is it updates the keyboard here. So you see now that the G major scale doesn't have these uh, sharps and the, basically the black keys are eliminated. And it also eliminates the B key here as well. And so what it'll do is it'll snap my voice to uh, all the keys with the green symbol there. So uh, what we're gonna do now is let's click on apply and now it has applied auto-tune to my vocal track. One little thing that you need to do with Audacity is you notice that uh, it reduced the volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost the volume again. I'll go up to effects, click on amplify, and then I'll just go ahead and amplify that and bring it back up. Um, it's just a little uh, issue with the G-Snap plugin where it does that. Let's go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Okay, well we're gonna stop it right there. You get the idea, it auto-tunes my voice. Obviously it's not perfect because my source material probably wasn't even close to the notes that I was trying to hit. Um, however, you get the idea that it'll adjust your voice uh, to the nearest uh, note. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have some fun with the T-Pain portion of it. So I'm gonna highlight this again. And what I wanna do now is we're gonna T-Painify this. And the way to do that now is we're gonna make a few adjustments to these knobs. Now with T-Pain, one of the things he'll do is he'll hold a note and it'll be pretty off pitch and so it adjusts quite a bit. And so the way to do that is you set the speed, you want these adjustments to happen very quickly. So I'm gonna set the speed down to one, the attack down to one, and the release down to one. So you're gonna get that kind of more robotic sound. And now what I also wanna do is I want the jumps on my, uh, my notes to be even bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and deselect some of these notes here. And so when it tries to snap my uh, pitch to one of these notes, it'll be a bigger jump and you'll hear more of a robotic effect. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and apply this now. You could also go back here, select a key and a scale, but I think this looks good. So let's go ahead and apply. Once again, I need to amplify the soundtrack here. So I'm gonna go up to effect, go to amplify, and then I'm gonna click on okay. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Talk to me, I talk back. Let's talk money, I'll talk that. So you could, you could hear how the auto-tune is uh, making my voice sound a little bit more robotic. It's, it's jumping between kind of the, the different uh, notes uh, much more quickly. Um, and so that's just an example of uh, some of the fun that you could have with auto-tune.
All right, well that was a quick demonstration of how you could use auto-tune. Hopefully you didn't find my singing too bad and hopefully your ears aren't hurting too much. But really what I wanted to do is give a quick demonstration of how you could install Audacity, how you could get G-Snap, and how you could start auto-tuning your voice. You know, it's a fun thing to play around with. If you're trying to sing on key and you wanna get all your notes right, uh, this is a cool thing to test out. Or if you wanna to try to T-Painify your voice, uh, you could use Audacity G-Snap to do that and you could get some really cool robotic sounding effects. You could play around with the different settings, play around with the diff uh, different knobs uh, and see what type of kind of fun audio output you can get. Uh, anyway, that was a quick tutorial of how you could auto-tune your voice. If you were able to successfully auto-tune your voice and you think it sounds good, please give it a thumbs up. Even if you don't think it sounds good but it still worked, also please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other video topics that you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I will see you next time. Bye.